I lost half of my life to this disease. I barely survived this. I was an addict for 12 years. My addiction was like my best friend to me. It helped me to get through loneliness and my insecurities and it was like the best friend I didn't have. And my drug of choice was food. I was bulimic for 12 years and no one knew. I hated who I was. So I started imitating the cool kids. And by the age of 18, I was so good at imitating other people that it got me a career in entertainment. <laughs> so I really found a way to make a living off being someone else. I just couldn't find a way to live with myself. So I created this persona and she protected me. My image protected me like a thick, high wall. The problem with walls is just that they don't only protect you, they also isolate you. And for me, that was basically just me and my eating disorder. We were the only two in this little club. Oh, I knew that bulimia would kill me one day. But to be honest, I had no problem with dying didn't seem like such a bad option <laughs> and um, that was until I became a mom. When Sarah's script landed on my desk I was really really intrigued. What intrigued me most is the way how she tells the story and how she gets into the head of the bulimic person that it's suicide step by step and I was just deeply moved and I don't know where she gets the courage from. When you kept something secret with everything you have for 12 years, it's scary to go out there and talk about it. But whenever that hits me, I just remember that it's not just my story. It's the story of 10,000s of people who would love to talk about it, but no one listens or who can't find the words and just suffer in silence and are way too afraid to go out there and, and get help or talk. What I find most ingenious about the script is what Sarah picked to embody the voice of the eating disorder of bulimia, which is a little girl. I have my own experience with the disease and yeah, I have a little daughter myself and I make sure that she's going to be watching this movie when she's young and also growing up because if I would have had the chance to watch something like this 20 years ago, I could have spared myself a lot of pain. I've been working as a fashion model since more than 12 years now and I can tell you firsthand it's really important to talk to the people about eating disorders and self-esteem. I mean, hello, 8 out of 10 children are already afraid of being too fat under the age of 10. This is insane. This is a movie that will encourage people to love themselves enough to save themselves from any kind of addiction or self-destructive behavior. I want to reach everybody who has a hard time being themselves. Sarah's book about her eating disorder was such a huge hit in Europe. Everybody started talking about it. I was crying from time to time when I read it and other times I was laughing and I think her secret is she's just 100% honest and her book already changed so much. Imagine what a movie could change. I've seen a lot of scripts and it's actually very hard to grab my attention and Sarah's script kind of just got to me right away. Um, the way she you know, wrote the characters and the storyline was very compelling and I felt an immediate connection and I just think you know, this is a project I want to be involved in. I want to bring this movie to schools and watch it with the kids and talk with them afterwards just as long as they need me because this is when it starts for most of us when we're really young and insecure and not sure about our place in the world and who we are. I also want to bring the movie to every important festival in the US and in Europe because I think we need to remind the entertainment industry that we need to be extremely careful with every message and every role model we send out there. I mean, I must know I've been a horrible role model myself for a couple of years.
please be a part of something we all can be proud of. We need 35,000 to make this movie happen and to share it with everybody for free. So it's really important for us to have you as a part into our project. So grab your heart, give us your money because the people out there need it. There are millions of people suffering under eating disorder. You know how it is. It's an all or nothing. So we really need you here. Please.